Psalm 74, a psalm of Asaph. O God, why have you rejected us forever? Why is your anger so intense against the sheep of your own pasture? Remember that we are the people you chose in ancient times, the tribe you redeemed as your own special possession. And remember Jerusalem, your home here on earth. Walk through the awful ruins of the city. See how the enemy has destroyed your sanctuary. There your enemies shouted their victorious battle cries. There they set up their battle standards. They chopped down the entrance like woodcutters in a forest. With axes and picks they smashed the carved paneling. They set the sanctuary on fire, burning it to the ground. They utterly defiled the place that bears your holy name. Then they thought, let's destroy everything. So they burned down all the places where God was worshipped. We see no miraculous signs as evidence that you will save us. All the prophets are gone. No one can tell us when it will end. How long, O oh God, will you allow our enemies to mock you? Will you let them dishonor your name forever? Why do you hold back your strong right hand? Unleash your powerful fist and deliver a death blow. You, O oh God, are my king from ages past, bringing salvation to the earth. You split the sea by your strength and smashed the sea monsters' heads. You crushed the heads of Leviathan and let the desert animals eat him. You caused the springs and streams to gush forth, and you dried up rivers that never run dry. Both day and night belong to you. You made the starlight and the sun. You set the boundaries of the earth, and you make both summer and winter. See how these enemies scoff at you, Lord? A foolish nation has dishonored your name. Don't let these wild beasts destroy your doves. Don't forget your afflicted people forever. Remember your covenant promises, for the land is full of darkness and violence. Don't let the downtrodden be constantly disgraced. Instead, let these poor and needy ones give praise to your name. Arise, O God, and defend your cause. Remember how these fools insult you all day long. Don't overlook these things your enemies have said. Their uproar of rebellion grows ever louder.